How does the voluntary fast differ from the obligatory fast in Islam? As far as the voluntary fast and the obligatory fast are concerned, they are one and the same, as far as the ruling is concerned, except for two things. That is one is the niyyah, where it differs between the two. And the second is, the Prophet said, the person who does voluntary fast, he is the leader of himself. If he wants, he can break it whenever he wishes. And these two leaders derive from the Hadith of Muhammad It's mentioned in Sunnah Nisai, in the Book of Fasting, Hadith number 2323, that once the Prophet Muhammad he asked his wife, Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, in the morning, that do you have something to eat? So she says, no. Then the Prophet replies that I'm fasting. That means he did not have the niyyah to fast the one night before, which is required for an obligatory fast. Here a person gets up, as long as he had not eaten anything or has not drank anything, he can do the niyyah on the spot also, it's valid. The second thing, as I mentioned, that the person who keeps the voluntary fast, he's the leader of his own self or herself, and they can break the fast in another wish. The hadith mentioned in Tirmidhi, in the book of fasting, hadith number 732, that Umm Hani, may Allah be pleased with her, she says that on the day of the victory of Makkah, when we went to somebody's house, Muhammad was given water to drink. After drinking, he gave it to me. And she told the Prophet that I'm fasting. So the Prophet says that is it for atonement or is it a voluntary fast? She says, no, it's a voluntary fast. So then the Prophet says, the person who keeps the voluntary fast is the master of him or her self and they can break the fast whenever they wish. So if you want to break, you can break. If you please, you can break the fast or you need not. The option is hers. And a similar hadith is mentioned in Sunan Bahaki, hadith number 8362, where once one of the Sahaba he invites Prophet Muhammad to his house and the Prophet goes with other Sahabas and when the food is served, one man says that I am fasting. So the Prophet says, the man has taken the trouble to make food for you and he spent money. So you break your fast and if you wish, you can make it up later. So these hadith you come to know that number one, niya is not the same as the obligatory fast. It doesn't have to be made one night before, but especially for fasting on Arafah day and 10th day of Muharram, Ashura, it's preferable, it's done before, but otherwise in voluntary fast, it's not a must get done later on also. And a person can break the fast if he wishes. After he breaks, if he wants, he can compensate or he need not compensate. That is up to him. And Jazakallah khair for the answer, doctor.